Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about eating disorders and cancer treatment or weight gain, weight loss, and eating disorder recovery and cancer treatment. Um, I feel like this is a topic that I haven't heard anything about and I happen to follow a couple of influencers on social media who are uh, women who are recovering from eating disorders and I've learned a lot on the topics through following their accounts and as soon as I started cancer treatment I realized how triggering uh, treatment must be for people who struggle with eating disorders so I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Let's start by noticing my weight gain. I don't know. I'm in my son's room. Um, I'm sure people noticed, I don't know. Um, if you know me, then you've probably noticed. Um, I've been on prednisone since August of 2021. That's about seven months now. And when my team told me I was going to start taking prednisone, it was to combat a bad reaction to cancer treatment. So um, they told me that I was going to have a lot of weight gain and they really put an emphasis on the weight gain. And my first thought when they told me that was good because I had been on a puree and liquid diet and I dropped a bunch of weight drastically while I was hospitalized for this bad reaction to immunotherapy. So my first thought was good. I need to gain some weight. I need to be stronger to battle this battle this cancer. And then my they kept talking about the weight gain. And I thought, wow, they really think I'm gonna gain a lot of weight. They don't understand that I eat healthy and that I'm a naturally thin person. So I was okay with the idea of gaining weight, but I didn't really think it would happen to me. And it has happened, and that's okay. I weigh more now than I did uh, during my pregnancies with my kids. Um, I, the part I struggle most with is the moon face. I feel like I don't recognize myself when I see my reflection. Some days the moon face is worse than others. Um, but then my weight gain in my body, I don't really care about. The most annoying part about it is that I don't fit in most of my clothes. Um, but I still think I'm beautiful and I still think I'm sexy. It's just I'm a little bit bigger and that's okay. And I think it's actually beneficial now that I'm going into chemo and radiation again um, because with chemo, I get a loss of appetite. So it'll be nice to have a little, a few extra pounds, a little more room to lose um, than if I hadn't gained the weight with the prednisone. And I'm still on the prednisone. Hopefully I'll be tapering off within the next month or so. We'll see how it goes. A few months into taking prednisone, I had reached my normal weight that I was before being hospitalized and I was happy about that, but I was sad because I was already getting the moon face. So even when I wasn't heavier yet, I was still getting the moon face. Um, and I wasn't used to seeing the scale get higher and higher every day. Every time I would weigh myself, it would get higher. Um, and I'm not normally a person who weighs myself very often, but with cancer treatment, they have us weighed all the time. That's another trigger that I've noticed that um, someone with an eating disorder or recovering from an eating disorder might struggle with is that we have to weigh all the time. And this is so weird. I don't know why I'm so sad for these people with struggling from eating disorders. I don't even know if there's people struggling with eating disorders in cancer treatment, but I just imagine that they are because this has affected my journey so much and I don't struggle with it. Um, and I, I'm, I'm the type to always put myself in someone else's shoes and I'm very empathetic towards others. So this has, I think following those accounts on social media, brought my awareness to the struggles of recovering from an eating disorder and I see it so uh, it's so apparent in cancer treatment and it just makes me feel for those people. Um, when I first was diagnosed with cancer I went super healthy and I started eating like Chris Carr. She's a cancer thriver and I was eating super healthy. I only wanted to put good things in my body 
but the problem with that was I was dropping weight constantly and I was told by my team I couldn't keep dropping weight otherwise it would affect the accuracy of radiation so last summer I did 30 rounds of radiation and I had to keep my weight within a certain window I only had a tiny bit of wiggle room so when I was in treatment I had to stop eating my healthy Chris Carway and start eating to keep my weight up. So I thought that would be a little triggering for some people. Um, I was successful in keeping my weight up, even though it was a little bit hard with chemo and um, my radiation was burning my esophagus. So I had sores in my esophagus and it hurt to swallow. So it was hard to keep my weight up, but I did it. And then when chemo and radiation were over, I was able to drop weight, gain weight, do whatever I wanted. I just stopped weighing myself and continued my liquid diet of protein shakes because that's all I could consume at the time with these sores in my esophagus. But shortly after that, I had my immunotherapy reaction and in August of 2021 where I could not eat or drink at all anymore. My mouth, my throat, and my esophagus were filled with sores and I ended up having to go to the hospital because I couldn't even drink water. I couldn't eat anything. And so they hospitalized me and got me better. That's what got me onto the prednisone. Um, I had a crazy drastic weight drop, weight loss with that, which could be triggering for someone with an eating disorder. Then I had to take prednisone, which they told me would cause a significant weight gain, which it did. Um, and I'm fine with, but that could be triggering for someone with an eating disorder. Um, and then now, my team is happy with my weight gain going into treatment, and so am I. So it's actually a good thing, but now I have to weigh myself twice a day, and I just feel like that's kind of obsessive. You know, we grew up, my generation, we grew up in a time when women were obsessed with fad dieting and counting calories, and wanting to be skinny. I feel like it was more about how skinny you were or how many calories you ate versus how healthy you were. And I never really liked that. Um, I saw people around me who would weigh themselves obsessively every day. So I never really wanted to weigh myself. I felt healthier not weighing myself. And when I went vegan, I learned more about the health benefits of food more than I had known. And so I always focused on trying to put good stuff in my body versus how many calories I was putting in my body. So when I became pregnant with my son Ellis, I would focus on how many nutrients I could get in my day, uh, get in each day, um, not worrying about if it was a lot of calories or what. It was just for nutrients for my son in my belly and myself. So ever since I became pregnant, that's always been my focus. Not what my weight is, not how many calories I'm take, uh, taking in, just how many nutrients I'm getting in. And when I eat something, I look at it and I think, how can this help my health? How can this help me? And obviously I have junk food and treats in my diet. I just feel like balance. I feel like you can have junk food and treats in your diet. It's all just balance. And I'm pretty good with balance. But now I'm at a point where I have to weigh twice a day, every day, and I feel like one of those obsessive dieters. <laughs> Nothing against them. It just doesn't seem the most mentally healthy thing to obsess over the number on the scale to me. And so I feel for people in my situation who are already having the struggle of cancer and then they're having their past eating disorder kind of dangled in front of them thrown in their face. I follow other cancer accounts on Instagram and I have heard of many drugs that cause weight gain, not just prednisone for cancer tr during cancer treatment. I've also heard of some that cause weight loss, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, you know, the bodies of cancer patients are going through a lot just to survive. And I feel like people need to be a little more sympathetic and aware of what they say to cancer patients. Um, I've had 
two people comment on my body since I've had my weight gain from prednisone. Um, one person was a cancer survivor herself and I could tell she meant it um, out of the kindness of her heart. She had seen how frail I was from my bad immunotherapy reaction and she had said something like, oh, you've gained weight, good. Um, you were looking so frail before, I'm glad you're getting some strength back. And I could feel the care and compassion behind her comments. But then I had another person comment on my weight gain and they said, what did they say? Oh, you gained so much weight with that concerned look on their face. And then she said, you've gotten so big. And as you guys know, I'm self-conscious of my moon face. So having her say, you've gotten so big with the big emphasis of the cheeks, you know, didn't make me feel very good. And I think the last thing people need to worry about is what they look like during cancer treatment. So if you could just be nice and not comment on cancer patients' bodies, really anyone's. Um, because you don't know what they're going through. Um, the person who commented on me getting so big and gaining so much weight doesn't know if I'm thinking about withholding food for myself because I'm self-conscious of my weight gain, which I wasn't, but you never know. Or, you know, you never know if someone's struggling. So be careful with what you say. I try to be careful with what I say. I know this is very random, but it, I just think about it all the time, how if you struggled with an eating disorder and then battled cancer, you are probably struggling a little extra than the rest of us because weight and diet are, oh my cat, weight and diet are all over the place during cancer treatment, it's crazy. I didn't realize it till I went through it. So I wanted to shed some light on the topic I don't know if this is weird or interesting to anyone, but cancer treatment is triggering to eating disorders, eating disorder recovery. There, I said it. <laughs> I hope this was at all helpful to anyone who might be struggling or knows someone or accidentally commented on someone's body and didn't realize it was offensive. Um, Thanks for watching. Bye.